Welcome back. New Zealand space company Rocket Lab says it made it into space on its first attempt with the launch of the Electron rocket. This afternoon, the 17-metre Electron blasted off. The company announced on Twitter, made it into space, team delighted. Although the launch is considered successful, it did not make it into orbit. Rocket Lab says it now has to work through 25,000 channels of data to understand why. The launch has been four years in the planning, but as Simon Shepard reports, it's been a lifelong ambition for the man who founded New Zealand's first space company. Space has always been on Peter Beck's mind. And ten years ago, he got serious. The RTR-1 rocket, a prototype where Peter Beck and investor Mark Rocket teamed up with businessman Sir Michael Fay. Nine... Eight, Two years later, oxygen, in a paddock on Great seven, Mercury Island off six, the Coromandel Peninsula, five, the dream four, became reality. Three, two, one. He had made it, so what next? Beck turned his attention to making fuel and making his mark in the space industry. In front of guests from NASA and aerospace company Lockheed Martin, Beck proved his prowess with a small test rocket. Perfect, 100% perfect. Congratulations. Yeah. Lockheed Martin was obviously impressed. They and other US investors bought into the company and into the vision of making space affordable. And with it came the Electron rocket. New Zealand will become the ninth nation to have ever, ever put something on orbit, and the other, the other eight being the superpowers. A race to make space cheaper, but to get there, Rocket Lab had to design its own engine called the Rutherford. So found a way to 3D print the engines in its Auckland warehouse. We built an engine in three days. The testing started and the bookings came, including NASA and Moon Express, which is aiming to put its lander on the moon. The rocket lab needed a spaceport. Initially it was outside Christchurch, but the company settled on the remote east coast. And now Mahia will help launch New Zealand into space. Simon Shepard, News Hub. All right, to other news now, and a truly spectacular feat for New Zealand, we've joined the space race with the liftoff of a Kiwi rocket in Hawke's Bay this afternoon. It was a test launch, but it could mean the beginning of a new business sending satellites into space from our shores. Will Hine reports. Liftoff from New Zealand, this rocket taking the local space program to new heights. The 17-metre-long Electron-class rocket, named its a test, made history, taking off from Mahia Peninsula. To achieve what we achieved today is, is just something that, that countries aspire to, let alone companies. The rocket didn't quite reach orbit as planned, but came close. We had a great stage separation, great second stage ignition, great fairing separation and lots of deployments, so, uh, you know, for all intents and purposes, a really fantastic flight. The flight set to be analysed in minute detail. They'll be looking at the thrust curves, they'll be looking at the structure, they'll be looking at radio transmission, but they'll be also looking at vibration, they'll be looking at how their systems perform. It's the first of three test launches. After that, the company's aiming for regular cut-price rocket flights, sending small satellites into orbit from New Zealand. Not that it will be easy, according to the man who headed the science team at a space venture between Boeing and Lockheed Martin. There are no successful commercial small payload launchers in the business currently. Uh, there's dozens that have tried and failed. But the company has already secured hundreds of bookings. NASA among the clients wanting Rocket Lab to take a payload into space. New Zealand has officially gone to space and uh, you know, New Zealand is in the space race for sure. One small step for Rocket Lab, one giant leap for New Zealand aerospace. Wilhine, One News.